Kind of spilled. It's all good. <laughs> Do you guys have any pan policies? Uh, we're making more by the day. Yeah, making more day. policy makers. Yeah. <laughs> I actually originally wanted to interview you at the uh, Outside Lands Festival. Oh. Dude, how would that feel playing Outside Lands this year? It was a blast. Um, yeah, I mean, we've all gone before, like, as uh, patrons, and this time we were on stage. Wrong. It was really cool. Wrong? Uh, <laughs> have you been to Outside Lands? I've never been there. Was it? Never been to Outside Lands? No, that was my first time. That was my first time, too. Wild, wild. Yeah, I, I love seeing, like, <laughs> So it was actually all untrue. <laughs> Have you been outside that? <laughs> Sometimes I'll spread false information. False info. Some people say. Got to cross check the facts. You have to read the. You got to read the subtext and that. Uh, it's like the subtext. There was actually I have never been. <laughs> subtext is I don't even I don't think I was even actually at that festival on too many we drugs. Just had doppelgangers <laughs> play for us. Things were too. It was holograms. Tired. So much acid at Outside Lands that I, I actually had to replace myself for the <laughs> performance. Outside Lands! Ah! Like yeah. I Ted died, so I had to replace him. Mm -hmm. His, his Your new Ted. I go death. Yeah. Not been done the trip, so. Also, like you're from San Francisco. Yeah, yeah we lived here for, for like nine years. I do live in Sacramento now. Oh, yeah, he lives in Sacramento. You have a Sacramento? Well, not right now. Not right now. No. Are you guys on Forever Tour? 
Yeah, basically. We we just got back from a previous tour, and then we had less than three weeks. Should I look at you or the camera? Oh, that's always a good question. Uh, you can look at me, of course. <laughs> it's more comfortable looking at you. Hi. Uh, what do you want to do? Awesome or fun? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new policy. I want straight and get on my floor and kiss. Answer any of those questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had like less than three weeks between tours. We <laughs> just started tour yesterday. <laughs> I've got on the lamps. I've got on the lamps. <laughs> oh my god. Pole dance on the lamps now. So yeah, if you could just, if you guys could just gather on the couch and you can pole dance on the. Get all oiled up first. We haven't asked the, the truth or dare questions yet. <laughs> do we dare? Ask. Do we do do we dare? Who starts? Uh, <laughs> All right, truth. Those from you. Yeah. All right. So San Francisco bands often like leave the city. Would you do that? And if you would, like, why do you think people do that? Oh, the truth comes out. It's hard to make a living making money, making music. I feel like the music scene here is centered around like the colleges for the most part. Mm. And then there's kind of like a ceiling because there's not that much industry here. It's like different fur. And then that's Patrick about it. There. There's a lot more like music industry in Los Angeles and New York, so I think that's why a lot of bands end up leaving. And also, uh, it just seems like there's a lot more people going to shows and dancing when you go to LA or something, as compared to the, the shows here in general. Mm -hmm. That's real. It's maybe because there's more all-ages venues down there. Yeah, it's possible. There's like zero all-ages venues here. to ask somebody. <laughs> Dare, Nick. Dare. Ooh. Um. that later. <laughs> Thank you. 
wasn't that was, that was, <laughs> Yeah, how do you actually top the, the cup eating? <laughs> we did the truth and dare, so that's true. Horrible things could happen. Oh. <laughs> so much for doing this interview you guys really appreciate it um, I have one more question for you um, so the uh, the title of my of my blog is how to go to shows alone do you guys go to shows alone and if you do do you have any strategies for getting other people to like go to shows on their own feel encouraged oh, I really I've gone to a lot of shows on my own. I guess like if you're really into like the music, like that's the first thing, like because um, you're just gonna go there, have a good time, and I feel like when I'm having a good time, usually I kind of like going with other people having a good time and make some new friends. So if you're like enjoying the music and making new friends, go to shows alone. Oh, thank you. Cool. <laughs> you go to shows yeah, alone. I, I like to go to shows alone, but I usually don't go to big shows alone. That's, I need friends to go to big shows because they're intimidating to go alone. But I like to go to house shows a lot, and then I just like chill out with people. Nice. And like it's really easy to meet people, and probably it's a smaller crowd, so you know people. Like Jared said, it's mostly house shows. It's one of the easier places to make friends. I would agree. And small shows. That's what's so beautiful about local music scenes. Totally. Nice people together. Totally. Do it. Do it. There's always at least one or two people I know at like every show I go to. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it sometimes. It's nice to like if you go with people, sometimes I always want to like talk the whole time. Yeah. And sometimes I'm just like not down. I just want to like really like listen to music and like be alone. Just like enjoy the show. And sometimes it's like, also it's just super stressful to talk when it's really loud. You're like yelling! And it's just like a whole yelling over, conversation. Yelling over the one. Yeah, go alone to shows so that you don't get interrupted when you're trying to experience your damn music. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I, I'm physically unable to have conversations in shows sometimes just because I can't hear anything. Sometimes I'll even just like pretend I can't hear someone because it's what? so hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, y'all. Thanks again. Yeah, it's okay. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye.